I asked Professor Gray to tell us why she thinks that grammar is so important for English learners to control. She said that grammar allows us to express complex ideas. Let's listen. Why do you think it's important to teach grammar to students? Well, grammar is one part of language that allows us to convey complex ideas. Uh, with, when we have vocabulary items, we can convey uh, a single idea or a single item. Uh, and we can convey a lot of information with vocabulary items. And for sure, we have to have a lot of vocabulary in order to use grammar effectively. But grammar allows us to express ideas that are larger than a single concept or um, a single item that we want to convey. Grammar is about how we combine words into these larger, meaningful units. It's how we combine words into phrases. It's how we combine phrases into clauses or sentences. Uh, and when we do that, we can do things like talk about what happened yesterday or talk about what will happen tomorrow. It's how we can indicate that we're stating or asking a question instead of making a statement or how we make a request. So uh, when we use grammar, we're looking at how words relate to um, other words in our clauses and also how it relates to the meaning that we want to convey. So we use grammar um, in order to, to communicate these complex ideas. And we also use grammar to understand complex ideas. In an educational setting in particular, our, our goal is to learn. And we can't learn information that's conveyed to us unless we understand um, the ideas the complex ideas that are being uh, represented with language, either in writing or speaking. Professor Gray said that grammar lets us combine words to make phrases, phrases to make clauses, and clauses to make sentences. She pointed out that vocabulary provides the building blocks, but those blocks get put together to say things by using the rules of grammar. We need to be able to build complex sentences to understand and learn complex things. So words name things. We can say cake and we know we refer to that cake in the picture. There's a clerk that refers to the clerk standing there. When we say party, we might have an image like a birthday party that we can see in the other picture. Each of these words mean something, and so in that sense, words have a very important role to play in conveying meaning. We need sentences to convey what's going on. For example, I bought a chocolate cake. The clerk put it in a big box, and we ate it at the birthday party. That tells what's happening in a way that naming things just can't do. It takes grammar in order to put the words together in order to convey what's happening, something that's going on, and, as Professor Gray pointed out, to convey anything that's complex.